Hello and welcome back to this series of free tutorials on the foreign exchange market. Today is day four and we have a very controversial topic ahead of us and the topic is algorithmic trading systems. So if you're not familiar with the term, not a worry. Algorithmic trading systems basically mean uh, forex robots and those are programs and software that are designed for the sole purpose of doing your trading for you. And we're not just talking about opening a trade or closing a trade, we're talking about the whole end-to-end -end process. So from uh, looking at the foreign exchange market to analyzing it, to making a decision and opening a trade in either direction, uh, then to supporting a trade if required and adjusting the stop loss or the take profit, and finally to closing that trade. So basically what that means is that once uh, you launch a forex robot or an algorithmic trading system, you can just you know, take yourself out of the equation and you don't have to do anything at all. It will um, perform everything for you. Of course, the only caveat there is that first you have to um, take all the logic from your trading strategy and your money management, all the trading rules that you follow and put that logic into that algorithmic trading system. But once it's there, you basically don't have to do anything anymore. And um, some traders choose to use algorithmic trading systems, some traders choose to not and to rather trade manually. And so what are we going to be talking about today is what are the advantages and disadvantages of either approach? Why would you choose algorithmic trading systems or why would you choose manual trading? And what are the differences? Uh, because both are in essence very um, legitimate and valid approaches to the foreign exchange market. You can you can choose either and you, you can become successful with either of them. It just depends on what you would like and what uh, your goals and preferences are. Um, personally, for me, algorithmic has worked well. It's been a big part of my life, big part of my uh, foreign exchange trading. But that is a, in a, largely attributed to the type of person I am. Like, I like programming. I do it for a hobby and, um, you know, I kind of, I'm very passionate about automation of decisions and things like that. Um, at the same time, somebody might be very passionate about manually trading the foreign exchange market. And that is also a great approach to go. And you can become successful either way you go. And uh, so what my goal today is, is to give you as much information as I can on both of these approaches. So from all my experience, from all my knowledge, I want to uh, extract the most valuable bits and pieces that will uh, help you make this informed decision on what you think will suit you better, algorithmic trading or manual trading. So really excited to talk about this, one of my favorite topics, and uh, let's jump straight into it. So I metaphorically jumped behind the computer. Of course I didn't jump, I walked behind the computer. And here we are, today we're talking about algorithmic trading and Forex robots. Great topic to have, great topic to discuss, really excited. And what has Kirill prepared for today? So. Today's game plan, we're talking about what is algo trading. In case you're not entirely comfortable with the term, I will explain what trading with Forex robots means and what exactly it entails. And also, I will show you my results. So you will get to see my results. If you're going to stick around for something, for anything at all, stick around for that because I know you've been curious. I know you've been wondering you know, how a robots are trading on Kirill's accounts, you know, what, what's going on there, how much money is he making and stuff like that. So if you want to see all of that, Stick around, I will show you a few statements from my live accounts with real money. And number two is the showdown, manual versus algorithmic trading. So I will give you some advantages of both of those methods and from there you will be able to hopefully more have, make a more informative decision, more informed decision on which style suits you better. So let's jump straight into it. To start off with, why are we doing this? We're doing this to learn how to generate consistent profits from the Forex market. And uh, the key word here is consistent profits so that we are confident in that we are going to earn these profits along the way. Additional income and financial freedom. Who doesn't want that, right? You, you're, you can basically do whatever you want. You're your own boss and so on. And even if you don't want to quit your job, that is an additional income it's a great way to earn some extra cash to you know spend on the things you love. And obviously lead an awesome lifestyle. If you do get really good at forex trading, then at some point, you know, you can become location independent, live wherever you want, and do whatever you want. You'll have all that extra money and extra time to do the things you always wanted to. 
And everything I'm sharing with you comes from experience. I know you probably, you've seen the slide a couple of times, so we'll go through it very quickly. Multiple six figures in profit, despite a small starting balance. As you remember, I've mentioned this a couple of times, I started out in Forex with a thousand dollars. Like not, <laughs> not including the couple of hundred that I lost in my first and second balances, but then the one that actually made the breakthrough was only a thousand bucks. And then I grew that, I grew that, I grew that, I grew that. And that's, you know, how I made my money that came into the basis of my, into the foundation of my Forex trading. And freedom. So I have, well, in a way I've earned my freedom. Uh, I know you're tired of that other photo of Australia, so I put this one in. <laughs> this is me on Fraser Island. I thought it was pretty funny. Uh, yeah, in Australia, wildlife crossing signs are quite common. So you can be wherever you want while you're making money. And uh, this is not just about algorithmic trading. With any kind of trading, you know, if as long as there's an internet connection, you can literally be making money from wherever you want in the world. As long as you, of course, know how to do it and, um, you know, you've achieved those consistent profits. And, of course, you are your own boss. You want to work today, you work today. You don't want to work today, you don't work today. Um, I actually had a really cool example yesterday. Uh, yeah, so yesterday, Sunday, of course, markets are closed, but uh, like, you know, you still have to do d development and uh, thinking through your trading strategies and other stuff. And I was like, should I go do some fun things? Like I, I go, I, I could have gone ri ride my motorcycle. But in the morning, I was like, no, actually, you know, I, I really want to work today. I will get more satisfaction from that. And by the end of the day, I looked back, I was like, yeah, actually... Today, I decided on a Sunday that I'm going to spend, you know, time working. I spent 12, I put 12 hours into it and I look back, I was so satisfied with my day. So it's a great feeling. And then like on Wednesday, I'm going to go do whatever I want because I've planned my Wednesday off. Anyway, we're getting sidetracked. Let's keep going. So th those are the perks of Forex trading and being your own boss and stuff like that. What are Forex robots? Uh, so you'll hear me say in the, this uh, tutorial or um, video that a few kind of um, variations of the term. So there's expert advisors, uh, Forex robots, algorithmic trading systems. Those are all the same things, just different names for um, a Forex robot. And unlike the picture here, a Forex robot isn't actually a physical robot that sits in front of your screen and then brings you money in, in its hands and you know, gives it to you so you put it in your wallet. It doesn't work like that. A Forex robot is essentially a a piece of code or a software that you attach to MetaTrader 4 chart. So mostly we'll be talking about MetaTrader 4, uh, but it doesn't matter. Even in other uh, systems like uh, JForex from Dukascopy or NinjaTrader or, or whatever you can think of, uh, it's a piece of software. So it's a kind of like a standalone uh, element of software, a program or a piece of code or a script that you just attach to a chart or you launch in your platform that will run and do your trading for you. So it basically will do the analyzing of the charts. It will do, um, you're making the decisions. And as we discussed at the start of this tutorial, it's it's a end-to-end -end process. So it can actually make uh, analyze the chart, make the decision, open the trade, monitor the trade, adjust your stop loss take profit, close the trade when required, and things like that. Send you alerts and messages and like manage other robots if it wants to open up indicators and do crazy things. Is anything that you can do, a Forex robot can do. So you just program the logic into it. And that's um, that's what they are. And they're really, really great to know how to use and to actually use in your trading. However, they come with two problems. Two problems that drive traders away from Forex robots. And let's talk about them. Uh, this is going to be this going to be quite interesting. So pay, pay attention here. Um, this is going to open up uh, the reason why a lot of traders and maybe even you are thinking right now that, uh, you know, kind of cautious about this whole thing. It, it's, it's, it, might, it doesn't sound like, sound realistic. So problem number one, traders see algo trading as a way to get rich quick. Um, you know, come to the Forex market, buy a robot, find a robot, whatever, get a robot from somewhere. I'll put it onto my account and then I'll be super rich in, in a month or even a year, whatever. It'll do all my work for me. Wrong. Very, very wrong. So people misunderstand or mistake Forex robots for what they're not. They are not a get rich quick scheme. They won't 
just magically make you money and that's why you know a lot of time people ask me so Kirill you know if you've got um you've got all these like robots or you know you're making money or works like why why aren't you still a millionaire or a billion it's not like that it's still work you still have to put it in forex robots are just a convenience thing so basically you've done the analysis you've recognized the patterns so we're talking about technical analysis here you've recognized the patterns you've come up with a trading strategy you know where you want to set your stop losses and take profits on you can go ahead and do that trading strategy manually you can just trade your charts open buy close wake up early you know sit through the night and do everything like like you would with your hands but or you can take your logic and program it into a script or which is called a forex robot and just get a program to do that same thing for you think of it as like you know you can drive your car uh, from uh, you know home to work and pick up your kids yourself or you can get in the future get a google automatic or what they're called a self-driven car to do it for you so same thing here there's a there's a routine task that needs to be completed. You can either do it or you can get a machine to do it for you. And that's what Forex robots are. They're nothing more than a convenience thing. You know, they come in with additional perks, like you can do backtesting optimization. So um, we'll talk about that in, in, a, in, a, in a bit. Like, uh, you know, you can trade more currency pairs, create portfolios and so on. But in essence, they're not something magical. They're basically you, but automated you. So you, the physical you, can go away and do your own stuff. So that's... The problem. Problem number one is a problem of perception. And problem number two, uh, traders, a lot of traders think that all Forex robots out there are scams. And it's true, there are scams out there, but this statement is generally wrong. As you will see just now, all for, not all Forex robots are scams. There's a lot of them. And you know why there's a lot of them? Because of reason number one, because of problem number one, because people think that they can get rich quick on the forex market by using a forex robot so other people who you know want to take advantage of naive traders like that they create forex robots they say that you know you'll make lots and lots and lots of money and then P then those naive traders buy these forex robots they lose their money and then they think that all forex robots are scam and are scams and so on so basically it's a vicious cycle every time you know a naive, naive trader wants to make a billion of dollars, he buys a Forex robot, turns out to lose the money, looks, looks like a scam, and so on. It just continues on and on and on like that. And uh, like, you got to jump out of that cycle. You got to, if you understand that not all for, like that you need what a Forex robot is, that it's just a convenience mechanism. And then you go smart, come, you know, be smart about it. And you decide, you know, that. Not all Forex robots are there are scams that you can make money with Forex robots. You, you know, let those people think whatever they want. You have your own way. You can achieve uh, financial independence, freedom, and freedom of time using Forex robots. And which is a great segue to the next part of our presentation. Do robots actually work? Answer, yes. Yes, of course they do. And here they are. The moment you've been waiting for, the statements. All right. Statement, statement number one. Excuse me. So here, what do we see? Um, I'm, I started with $7,100 on this account. Uh, then it went to $11,800. Uh, so how much is that? That is a total net profit of $4,700. Um, the period here, you can't see it. It's not shown, but it's about three to six months. So all the statements I'm going to be showing you in this tutorial, they're not longer than six months. And the most interesting part is there were 1,153 trades. If that's a period of three to six months, there is no way on planet Earth that I could have conducted 1,153 trades manually. So this was a Forex robot trading on my account and you can see what kind of cool curve it uh, came up with or it created in its uh, trading. So this is the balance curve. Next statement. Okay, so here, total net profit of $12,900 and 848 trades. So another uh, good result. So made uh, money on uh, this account as well. And uh, here's another one, uh, one of uh, my favorite ones. 2,811 trades. Wow, incredible, right? 
but uh, you're probably um, sitting there <laughs> laughing. That's a good number of trades. But then what are these, Carol? Did you lose your money there? Well, in reality, no, I didn't lose my money. I was just cashing out. So you can see the total net profit here, $19,400. And what is great about this one is it's a great, um, you can do a great comparison here. So this is a period of about six months, 2,811 trades. Now, think of it this way. In a year, in, in one full year, in 12 months, there is approximately 250 working days. So even if you conduct 10 manually, if you, even if you do manually 10 trades a day, every single working day for a year, you will only do 2,500 trades. That is still less than this robot did in six months. Well, these robots, this was a portfolio of robots. So can you imagine that? Like, can you imagine just physically for a second yourself getting up in the morning and doing 10 trades or throughout the day or in the evening or at night? That's every single day. I can't imagine doing that. I can barely imagine doing one a day manually. But, you know, this is what I'm talking about. A robot can go out there. Once you've put the logic into it, into them, if it's many of them, it can do your work for you. It won't get confused. It won't um, get tired. It will just keep plowing along. And you just have to, you know, check, check up on it once in a while. And the other thing here is that this is what I mean when I say um, the magic of numbers or the more the merrier. What did I say? I said more, the more the better, right? In, in the first video. So one of the tricks to uh, Forex trading, one of the five key found, founding elements of successful, consistent profits, the more the better. So you know that because there's so many trades, you're more confident in these results. You know that this is not a random coincidence that uh, your profit factor is 1.42 or your expected payoff per trade is $6.91. It's not a coincidence. It could have been a coincidence if you had 10 trades, you know, oh, well, randomly, my profit factor is 1.42 on 10 trades. Maybe on 100 trades, it'll be completely different. But what you're seeing here is that there is so many trades that there is no way that this was, you know, just a randomly uh, achieved result. And what that tells you in terms of forecasting, it, it gives you more confidence, like maybe a 95, 98, 99% um, confidence interval to say that in the future, in the near future, my profit factor will also be the same. And my expected payoff, I can confidently say, I'm very confident that my expected payoff will remain the same. Because what we see here is not a random coincidence and therefore there's a high likelihood that it will continue into the future. <laughs> and take that to the traders that say, oh, I want to trade once a week and you know, hold, my, hold my money for, in a trade for a long time so I don't have to pay extra commissions or, or whatever. Um, yeah, no, I don't, I don't agree with that. My approach is different. The more, the better. I'm more confident in my results in the future of my consistent profits. Okay, so where does this take us? The showdown, manual versus algo trading. So let's look at the advantages. Uh, advantages of manual trading. Start with this one. You use the most powerful computer on the planet, your brain. This is a very interesting one. So it is predicted according to Moore's law, look it up, um, by Gordon Moore, who invented Intel in 1965. He also in 1968 invented Moore's law. Um, basically, in short, it means that the price of an average computer, uh, the power of an average computer doubles every year and the price halves. Anyway, according to Moore's law, the first computer that will think as fast as the human brain will be out in about 2025. So we still have about, you know, nine to 10 years before that happens. And for now, your brain is the most powerful computer on the planet. And good, actually, the good thing is that very good thing is that evolution has taken this sort of route that or this sort of path that the human brain is really really good at pattern recognition you you can probably read a lot about that i have i haven't uh, studied a lot but you know things like how seasons change how how animals behave uh, different different patterns 
in your head, like visually when you see them, when you hear them, you know, you can you can di distinguish different tones of music. It is it has been through our evolution crucial for our survival. So you're very good at recognizing patterns and uh, finding uh, patterns within patterns or finding patterns in places where there are no patterns. And you can take that, what evolution has given you, and apply it in the foreign exchange market because it is all about patterns. And using your brain, you can come up with incredible trading strategies that no computer in the world can come up with now. Yes, they can crunch numbers, but they're not creative. They're not... They can't see these things the way you see them. Well, not yet anyway. So that's a great advantage. Hold on to that one if you're a manual trader. Next one is self-discipline and routine. There are some people that um, enjoy routine. And, and I'm not saying this sarcastically. This is normal. Like some people go crazy without or you know, get depressed or... Um, don't know what to do with themselves when they don't have this routine. You know, wake up, look at this market, look at that market. Like like people go to work, same thing here. So maybe some people um, want to have this routine that uh, in the morning they wake up, they have their coffee, breakfast, and then they have to you know read the news and then they look at uh, look for these patterns because that's when this session opens. You know, I don't know the Japanese session opens and you know that you're looking for a specific pattern in that Japanese session and you enjoy doing that and. Uh, if that is the case, then manual trading is for you. It will give you that routine. And self-discipline, um, self-discipline, you require self-discipline to trade manually. This is kind of a bit different. It's not to do more, not to do so much with the routine. It's more to not deviate from your trading strategy. Because as we discussed, having a trading strategy is very important. Your money management strategy and everything around your trading. So if you have a trading strategy that you know your stop loss every single time has to be 50 pips, for instance, then in one case you might think, oh, I want to set it lo uh, longer because I, I want the market to give the market more leeway in this case, or I want to set it shorter. Or say you, you, the most common one is you've set a stop loss, your trade is open, and then you can't wait and you decide to close it manually. So you have to prevent yourself from doing those things. When you're trading with robots, you don't have those problems because you're not in front of the computer. The robot's doing it for you, and the robot... It doesn't have emotions, but we'll talk about that in the next slide. When you're doing it yourself, you have to have that self-discipline. And on one hand, if you have self-discipline, you are you can be a good manual trader. On the other hand, if you don't have self-discipline, well, maybe then manual trading can help you develop self-discipline. Huh? How, how does that sound? If you've, if you've ever wanted to develop, to develop some self-discipline, maybe you should consider manual trading. And uh, number three is develop an intimate understanding of your currency pairs. This is a, a very good one. So it's also got to do with the brain um, and kind of your, the more you spend time with something, the better you get at it. You know that feeling that, you know, the more you drive a car, the better you're driving cars, or the more you, times you cook a lasagna, the better you get at it. Same thing here. So the longer you spend looking at the euro dollar chart, the better you will understand the patterns. Of course, markets change, but you will also understand that. Markets, you know, it's all seasonal. Markets move in spirals and uh, crises come and go. There, there are patterns behind all these things. So once you sit behind the euro dollar chart for a long time, and with every day, with every month, you're going to get better and better and better at understanding like intrinsically why things are happening so you won't you might not know exactly you know what what uh, event triggered something but you will be accustomed to the way it behaves and you will uh, more you will understand better like it's, it's hard to explain but you you'll have kind of like a feel for the market i guess and um so yeah, so that and that will allow you. Not that I'm saying that you'd use that in your trading to to constantly set stop losses randomly. No, that that would allow you to develop better trading strategies, to refine trading strategies and things like that. And uh, you could do that with a cu couple currency pairs. The only drawback here is that you can't do it with too many. Like I would say maybe two or three maximum. You could do that with. If if you go further than that, then then you lose that intimacy. If you're if you're uh, trading manually like five or ten currency pairs, or trying to trade or trying to analyze them, you will not um, get accustomed to them. You won't develop that uh, gut feel for each one of them. So that's kind of a, a bit of a setback that you can only pick and choose. So you'll you, you have to pick and choose. So you can only work with two or maximum three currency pairs. But on the other hand, you have this advantage that you can become intimate with the currency pair. A robot can't do that. All right. Advantages of algorithmic trading. So I hope you can see that we're being fair here. You know, even though I'm a bit biased, I'm more towards the algorithmic trading side. 
back here in manual trading, I gave you a real um, true advantages that I believe in for manual trading. So there's, there's, I'm trying to do this without bias. All right, advantages of algorithmic trading. So let's have a look. Freedom of time, uh, by far, hands down, my favorite advantage. You don't have to sit in front of your computer. Forex training gives you freedom, financial freedom, in both cases, manual trading, algorithmic trading. So as long as you master it, you know, we know it. You just up the ante and, you know, invest more and uh, you quit your job and you, you just focus on that. It gives you financial freedom. But algorithmic trading gives you freedom of time. So you can do other things while your robots are doing your work for you. So that convenience thing that we talked about, freedom of time, great advantage. I think it's quite obvious, so I won't talk more, much more about this one. No psychology or emotions. So what we talked about manual training, that self-discipline routine, here you are kind of, your training is secluded. It's, it's, it's taken away from you. You're not sitting in front of your computer. And therefore, even if you do have psychology or you do have emotions about your trades, you can't do anything about it because you only check your uh, account once or twice a week and you see the results. And, you know, it's easier for you. For a manual trader, it's very hard emotionally, and you'll hear a lot of traders talk about this, that they, um, you know, they were trading and then they couldn't stand uh, how, how depressed they were getting and how badly they were feeling, and this was affecting their families and so on, and they had to stop trading because it was, it was so heavy, it was so daunting. That's right, that's, that's because it's, it's not a... It's not a, I, uh, I want to win every single time. No, it's, it's a numbers activity. It's a numbers job. It's all about the numbers. You, you can't win every single trade. I'm telling, that, telling you that right now. You will have losses. Your tra you will have lost trades. It's all about, trading is all about having a positive outcome in the long term, consistently. Consistent profits overall in the long term. Not about winning every single trade. And that is what a lot of traders don't get their head, can't get their head around. That they they get happy when they have a profitable trade. Woo, yay, I won or I made, you know, $50 or $100. And then they're super sad when they lose, uh, you know, $500 or $20 or whatever when they have a loss trade. It, it, won't, it will affect you. It's, it's natural uh, for you at the start to be happy about profitable and uh, unhappy about loss trades. It's like with anything in life, you know, like... If you, if, I don't know, say if you're just learning to be a barista, to make coffee, every single time you make a good coffee, you'll be happy about it. If you make a bad coffee, you'll be sad about it. But after five years of being a barista, you'll, you'll, you don't care about these coffees anymore. You're just making them and you're not happy or sad, whatever you make. Yes, you, oh, wow, you screwed up one coffee out of 10. Well, what's, what's that going to do? You're just going to remake it, right? You don't get emotionally attached. Same thing here. It takes time and practice to become emotionally detached from your trading. But the problem here is that this trading actually involves money. When you're making coffee, you just remake the coffee. Here, you're losing and making money, which affects your family, which affects your ability to go on holidays and your financial state and so on. So that is, you know, emotional effect times 10 and right away. And it that's what screws with uh, the heads of lots of traders. That's why a lot of traders lose, actually. So algorithmic trading allows you to take that out of the equation. You don't have to... Um, practice like a manual trader for years uh, and uh, lots and lots of trades to get to that state where you're emotionally detached from your trading. You just simply take a shortcut. You you take the whole psychology, emotions, and you're like, okay, I'm not even dealing with that. Let the, let my robots trade. I will check out my trades at the end of every week or even month if I feel like it. And because we're talking about numbers here, you have more trades that you're looking at, and statistically, that means that you know if you had one or two losses probably you'll have like five profits and overall or for the week or for the month your trades are have made have made your profit so you don't have don't even have this problem okay uh number three portfolio of strategies so this is also another interesting one um kind of it, it kind of also includes i didn't put this separately but it also kind of includes that uh, algorithmic trading you can develop your strategies more than manual trading so in manual trading you're kind of restricted to your ability or your capacity to test a, a strategy or back test a strategy on historical data um, 
so as long as you can like you can't sit there for three weeks testing your stra- back testing your strategy manually because you know maybe the market will change in that time and your strategy will become obsolete whereas with algorithmic trading you can test your strategy f- over you know, hundreds of days or thousands of, of days if you want to just in a few split seconds uh, just a few clicks of the mouse and moreover you can find the optimal parameters and so that whole story of back testing optimization and getting the most out of your trading strategy instead of just using intuitive parameters for stop loss and take profit. But what we're talking about here, also portfolio of strategies means that, you know that other issue we said with manual trading, you can only trade two or three currency pairs or two or three different strategies. Otherwise you will get confused and you won't develop an intimate understanding. Well, here there there is no restrictions. If you want to trade five currency pairs, trade five currency pairs. If you want to trade... 20 currency pairs and 20 different strategies on each currency pair, go for it. You'll have 400 strategies working at the same time. And that's what I mean by portfolio strategies. Robots don't get tired. Robots don't get confused. Robots don't mix things up. Robots don't have emotions. They can just plow along. You can launch as many of them as you want and you build up your portfolio. Some of them you know, are not working well. You take them out, you, you add new ones in. And if you combine number three here with number one at the top, so portfolio of strategy with freedom of time, when you have this freedom of time, what do you do? Well, maybe you go and you, you play with your kids or if you have kids or you... you <laughs> I don't have kids yet. but Or you go ride a motorbike or, I don't know, do something that you like, something you enjoy. Or, or you know, you learn something or read a book, whatever. But also you can take that freedom of time and reinvest it into your algorithmic trading. So you can go ahead and develop another algorithmic trading system. And then you can add it to your portfolio. And can you feel that cumulative effect that you know you 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 start to go you're starting to go exponential? And once you've added that um, algorithmic training system into your portfolio strategies, it earns you more financial freedom. It earns you more freedom of time. And then you go and develop another one and you add it to your portfolio. So you keep growing your portfolio. While a manual trader is busy trading all the time with uh, because he has to be in the front of the computer, you have this time which you can choose to reinvest to grow your portfolio of strategies. And, and you know, of course, you have to look after it as well. So that's a great advantage. Um, it right away separates a linear um, growth of a manual trader from an exponential or a potential for an exponential growth of uh, an algorithmic trading portfolio. All right, so those are advantages and disadvantages. Once again, I hope uh, I've been uh, objective enough uh, and t- uh, taken as much bias as I could out of this. If you have any other ideas about uh, towards manual training, algorithmic training, feel free to post them in the comments. Always, always, I'm always in the comments jumping in and out. Um, so if you're interested in algo trading, what you need to get started? It's not It's not like uh, run, run right away, oh, okay, yeah, Kirill said algorithmic trading is cool, I'm going to do algorithmic training. You do need a couple of things. So two things. One, you need to get an uh, expert advisor or Forex Robot. You need to either buy one or you need to create one on your own, program it basically. And uh, two, you need to learn how to back test, forward test, optimize, set up your robot, manage it. Quite a few things. Um, oh, actually, three things. Uh, other some other tips and tricks. That's right. So, like, uh, what is it called? Rolling optimization and, and things like that. How to how to look after your forex robots and um, just just some some other. You know, like with anything new, you naturally there are there are kind of underwater stones that you don't know about right away. So, why why did why did I bring this up? Um, algo trading. You, yeah, you got you got to learn a few things. You got to get in. So there is kind of a price to pay to get into this. It's not it's not right away. Like it it takes. It took me maybe a year, but I knew I wanted to go down this path. Like I said at the beginning, I'm I'm that type of person. When I see that I can automate something, I'm I would rather automate it than spend time doing it. So maybe maybe I sacrificed a year of not trading manually to learn how to automate these things, and then. I skyrocketed from there. So just bear in mind that there is uh, this kind of initial outlay of time that you have to put in to learn these things, understand. And which brings us to check this out. So I haven't talked about much about Forex Boat in these tutorials. I'm, you know, I just want to give you information as much as I can so you you can understand what Forex trading is and whether it's not it is or not for you. But here I just had to mention this that on Forex Boat there are two courses about algorithmic trading. 
And the green one here, they're all distinguished by color. The green one can help you learn to program in MQL4. It's, uh, in my view, <laughs> of course I'm biased here, but in my view, I think it's one of the best courses out there on programming in MQL4, step-by-step, -step, seven hours of uh, just programming. You don't have to know any programming at all. From scratch, I teach you how to program in MQL4. That's a programming language for MetaTrader 4. It's a C-like uh, or C-based programming language. And uh, we go through a lot of things and you create your first Forex robot in this programming language. I will explain why I'm talking about this in a second. And the blue one here is how to backtest and optimize uh, your expert advice. So even if you don't know programming, but you have an expert advisor, this course can teach you, will teach you how to optimize it, how to backtest it. So all those tips and tricks and hacks, so all of my experience, I put it together, put into this one course. Also, uh, lots of people have taken this course. Uh, they totally, totally love it. Why am I bringing this up? I'm not bringing this up to for you to go and run and buy these courses now. I just want you to know that there are 100% step-by-step Forex courses right here at forexboat.com. So when the time comes, when you do decide that you want to maybe explore algorithmic trading further, don't forget that right here on Forex Boat, we have courses and maybe check them out. You know, just maybe, just saying, you might uh, like them. They're free previews, have a look. But no, once again, don't go and run them right now. This tutorial is about giving you information. Uh, don't go and buy, don't go running to buy them right now. No, this tutorial is about giving you the information for you to decide whether you like algorithmic trading, where you want to stick with manual trading, and you know, just just giving you all the information I have here. And so that brings us to the end of this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Please, please, please share this video. I would so much appreciate if you learned anything from this tutorial, share it, let others know about it. I would love for you to help me spread the world. That's all I ask. Just help me share this video. Uh, leave a comment or question below. I'm always in the comments as you see from other posts, blogs, videos that I post. Um, I'm always jumping in out. Do you have any questions, any ideas, suggestions? You know, maybe you know some other advantages of algorithmic or manual training. Post them in the comments below. I'll be out there. And that's it. Thank you very much for your attention. And I look forward to seeing you on our next tutorial.